Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be talking about the Eagles. Yesterday the Eagles lost to the Giants, and after that loss I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying that the Eagles would have won that game if we still had Sam Bradford as our quarterback. Then some people took it a step further and said that the Eagles would be 8-0 if we did not trade Sam Bradford. Now I don't think that's the case, but I thought it would be interesting to analyze the Eagles and see if we would be better off with Bradford or Wentz. So, first things first, we have to look at what type of quarterback Wentz and Bradford are. Sam Bradford is a pure pocket passer. He sits in the pocket, he plants his feet, and makes all his plays from the pocket. Carson Wentz, very different. He's what I like to call a mobile pocket passer. He doesn't just sit in the pocket, but he's not really a running quarterback either. He reminds me a lot of Aaron Rodgers, who will sit in the pocket, but as soon as it starts to collapse, he'll roll out left, right, it doesn't matter he'll still be able to bomb a pass downfield on the move. And that's what I really see Carson Wentz looking like. And obviously, we know how Carson Wentz is performing. He's 4-4. Four and four. But now I want to look at those games and see how Sam Bradford would have turned out if he was in there. Personally, I would say that the Eagles would still start the season 3-0 and because Wentz was just being slowly worked into the offense. He wasn't really a major deciding factor in those games. So for that reason, I'm going to say 3-0 start. Now against the Lions, I don't think Bradford really would have made a difference. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Wentz made a couple big plays because he ran out of the pocket. And like I said, that's something Bradford doesn't do. So maybe it would have actually been a lower scoring game for the Eagles. And just in general, I don't think Bradford really could do anything to help with the bad refs. I mean, those calls were just absolutely horrible and they cost the Eagles the game in the end anyway. So I think that would still be a loss, even with Bradford in there. So that would put the Eagles at 3-1. and one. Then moving on to the game against the Redskins, I would say that this game would be worse if we had Bradford. This game was when Lane Johnson served his suspension, our offensive line was shot, it was just horrible. And the pocket collapsed almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Bradford would have absolutely no chance to plant his feet. He couldn't make any plays. And honestly, I think Ryan Kerrigan would have just destroyed Bradford. I have no doubt that he would have gotten injured that game. That was just brutal. So that would still put the Eagles at 3-2. and two. Then we go to the Vikings. This game, I would suggest, would be an insane blowout. Carson Wentz, he'd made a ton of rookie mistakes that could have cost us the game, especially those five turnovers in the first quarter. I know all five weren't from uh, Wentz. I think it was just three from the Eagles in the first quarter, but still, I think Bradford's experience would have served him well, and he wouldn't have tried to force the ball into triple coverage the way Wentz did. Uh, I think Bradford would have done a little more in terms of offense, but let's be real, the Eagles' defense won that game, and it wasn't the offense. But with Bradford, this would still absolutely be a win. So that would put us at 4-2. and two. Then we move on to the Cowboys. This game should have been a win with Wentz. It was just awful. Sadly, fumble fever is just going around in the Eagles locker room. And I don't know if Bradford really would have made a huge difference. Um, there were a few rookie mistakes that Carson Wentz made. And I think if Bradford was in there... There's a possibility that he wouldn't have made those same mistakes, and I think if he didn't, the game wouldn't have gone the way it did. Either way, I think that was a win, so I'm going to put that at 5-2. and two. Now we go to yesterday's game against the Giants. We saw Wentz make a ton of rookie mistakes, in particular the two interceptions in the first quarter that led the Giants to score each time. Following the first quarter, we did see a ton of great plays from Wentz. He actually unleashed, and he was able to let the ball go downfield. Sadly, wasn't enough to give the Eagles the win. I think Bradford would have better utilized the receivers, especially in the first quarter. I don't think he would have thrown those same interceptions. And going against a weak secondary like the Giants, I think it would be an easy task for the veteran quarterback. I think Sam Bradford would have been able to completely dismantle the Giants secondary. I think it would have been easy. But ultimately, the game was lost due to play calls from Doug Peterson. 
I think Bradford actually might have had the ability to change that because head coaches trust their quarterbacks, especially veterans. And I think Bradford should have at least been able to see the weakness on the field and be able to call a play that would have benefit their offense a lot better. So I'd say that's a win. So taking all that into consideration, in my opinion, the Eagles would sit at 6-2. and two. What do you think, though? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Bradford would be more successful than Wentz if he stayed in Philly? Or do you think he would be worse and we're just better off with Carson Wentz? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.